Yo, so the opinions and views expressed in this podcast are that of our own and the future Bachelor podcast only and not affiliated with any outside party or entity or anything like that. This fun podcast, though, may include some adult language. Future Bachelor podcast. Um, you know, so that was cool. Um, but, you know, V, why don't we do what we like to do here? It's that time to talk about Bachelorette on our show! Ha ha ha! Yes, but before we get talking Bachelorette, YouTube, you know what it is. Go ahead and subscribe, smash that thumbs up button, and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time we drop new Bachelorette content just like this. And if you just did, oh man, I hope you did because you're going to be adding to the root canal fun. But um, <laughs> I'm going to give a huge shout out to you. <laughs> hair Holy horns for you um no seriously though shout out to everybody that leaves comments and and subscribing that you know I, I think i think what i want to do here is like start doing a, a a segment like right before we get talking about it thinking out uh, anybody that's like leaves a comment on our videos from the previous week so if you see this right now leave a comment on this video we're shouting you out next week's video so that's just going to be a new thing if it's one person it's going to be one person if it's nobody we're just going to skip that segment um but v (laughs) (laughs) you know what where do we start this week with week seven of the bachelorette week seven towns it's hometowns our girls are packing up their stuff on the ship Mm. heading out hopping on planes Getting a few parting words from Jesse that Let's go. were seemingly not helpful, <laughs> but <laughs> whatever. They're out here. They're they're ready to rock and roll. We start with, I'm honestly this episode. They packed in almost all of the hometowns. They only missed one, so they did three and three for the girlies. But they, we start with Gabby heading to New Orleans, which it's her first time heading to New Orleans, which I find that sort of surprising, honestly. Um, to meet with Jason. And so they do they do the New Orleans bit. They walk down Bourbon Street. They're throwing some beads. Uh, Gabby says she wants to see some guy flash her for, you know, so that she could give him beads the right way, which I'm like, damn. Okay, and the guy's Gabby. like, no. And she still gives him the beads anyways. Yeah, she's like, I know. I'm like, come on, stand up for yourself, Gabby. <laughs> um, uh, and so because Jason's parents are separated, She meets his dad first, like, in a park, like, at a picnic bench. And then they'll go to the later part. But his dad, like, walks up with flowers and is already crying. (laughs) So emotional. Sweet, sweet man. You could tell he, like, loves his son, thinks his son is amazing, is, like, getting real emotional, talks to Jason, even being all, like, I walked up and teared up thinking, like, this could be my daughter-in-law. Like, homie is in it to win it, which I don't know if that, I find that more concerning than sometimes, like, which we'll get later, the parents that are almost more judgmental of the process. Like, to me, I'm like, what, what's more of the red flag to me, you know? Because it is a, it's a crazy concept. The show is nutso. And I think, uh, I think a red flag is what we see later on, Mm. to be honest, because, you know, parents that are just like, first of all, like you have to like, unless you completely disapprove of the show, then don't go on it. You know, I say that about anybody that's That's on the show. That's what Rachel Lindsay's dad did. You know, he didn't really, I think he like withheld from being on the show for. I mean, that might be a little different. Like, you know, well, yeah, I guess she didn't, he, he didn't go on a show. Yeah. Just don't go on a show, you know? Um, but you know, she was a lead, but you know, when it comes to this, you don't have to be on there. Like we'll just Mm -hmm. have like the, like the family that wants to be on there. Like you, you still want to just be on there just to look like. We'll talk about mm. it later. But anyway, yeah. Jason's Jason, you know, is, is he's so quiet. Like, you know, he he's doesn't... so quiet, so reserved. His but you could tell his and it's interesting that his family seems to be so emotional because like he isn't that outwardly emotional. Mm-hmm. I know he I we've seen like little bits of like him getting deeper and like him, Gabby pulling some of that out of him, but like and he's talked about like, you know, how he's had, you know, his heart broken or he feels some kind of way and that he, that's kind of why he holds back a little bit so he you know is deeply emotional but um it is interesting because like so he has such a good interaction 
with his dad. His dad loves Gabby. Like he's like in it to win it, but because he's there for you know what his son wants. And then they go to meet his mom, his sister, and his sister's boyfriend at the house later. His sister's cute. His sister's cute. Um, mom immediately cries when they walk in too. I was like, damn, okay, this family really is emotional. Um, and. The sister's cool. Her and Gabby vibe. I liked their interaction a lot. I thought it was like very realistic as a sister with, you know, brothers that date women. Um, I definitely like I could tell how she's an important one to impress and to like get the right vibes and things like that. So I liked that whole interaction. And but then it kind of took a, a little bit of a turn with when Jason was interacting with his mom because he's out here saying that he doesn't see himself getting engaged right now. Like he's like, maybe, maybe in a couple of weeks, but if I like had to, you know, if it had to happen right this second, it wouldn't be happening, which, you know, is a little bit concerning. I mean, concerning in the framework of the show. Right. Very sane. In In the framework (laughs) of real life. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Um, You know, but uh, I mean, these are things that might get you sent home. Like you just have to like, think about it like that. Um, you know, I, 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 it's not unrealistic to feel like that and still, you know, be a front runner. I think like, right. you know, people have said that before and they, people, and people just don't get engaged. Like most people, I, I mean, it's probably not, it's probably smart to not get engaged. At the I like the when they just decide to like go steady. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're just like, let's figure it out. And it's like, I pick you though. But, um, I don't know if that's going to happen in this case. Uh, mm. So, yeah, that was concerning. What ends up happening next? Um, I mean, I think the biggest issue with that conversation I have is that Jason's like saying laying this all out. And I felt like he was laying it out in a very understandable, relatable way to his mom. And then his mom's all like, well, have you talked to Gabby about this? And he's like, no. Yeah. And I'm like, I feel like that's a conversation you can't withhold for much longer. But I could see how he might want to withhold it just because he does he doesn't want to like say it and then like feel a different way in like a week but i i don't know i mean i mean at this point is he gonna save it for after fantasy suites which i feel like almost is worse because of you know how these both of these women feel after like getting into fantasy suites being told that you know they were loved by clayton and then for him to be like jk (laughs) really into the other girl and they're I so I feel like both of them are a bit traumatized by somebody waiting to tell them you know major information after banging them yeah. so you know could could be problem yeah I feel that all right well who do we got next Rachel and Zach. So Rachel heads to Anaheim, California to meet Zach and his very, uh, you know, Barbie-esque looking family. They're all very clean cut, structured faces, great stuff. He first takes her uh, to, you know, a spot to watch planes fly because that was their whole connecting bit on their first one-on-one together. Yeah. She's impressed. She loves it. She loves it. She was like freaking out. Like she immediately he's like, we're doing a bit of trespassing. That bitch ran up that ladder. She was ready to ready to rock and roll. She was not. I know. I know. It's funny that you say that because I was like little. I'd be a little nervous. I don't know why, but like, I know. I don't know. Like, uh, uh. What, uh, what's it called? Uh, why can't I think of the word right now? Ladder. Ladder. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, I'm in pain. I can't even think of things right now. <laughs> it's funny because I literally just said it too earlier to describe it. And you're like, it's funny you say that. But you're like, what is that thing? <laughs> Dude, I'm about to climb up a ladder and jump right off. Um, oh, my God. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, uh, sh- I get a little nervous about those things anyways. <laughs> anyways um so yeah he brings her home what happens there and his uncle is patrick warburton or however you say his last name who's like been on seinfeld done voices for different you know he's the voice voice of buzz lightyear the cartoon and yeah he he's it's he he does the voice of buzz lightyear um 
the cartoon that they made um not tim he's like literally the other voice of buzz lightyear instead of tim allen mm-hmm. but um yeah man he's i mean super popular he does voices on family guy um you, you know he's been in a bunch of shows i think he had his own show like at one point yeah so um i thought i recognized him when they showed him last week i'm like I, does this guy just look like that guy i was like does he just look like him and he sounds exactly like him weird yeah and then it's funny because then hearing him and then hearing zach in the context of there i was like oh shit no wonder why zach's zach has like kind of a similar voice like distinctive voice in like that lower range too and i was like oh it all makes i mean it's a great flex right there i mean you know it is it it, was a great flex and he's like my uncle pat i'm like get out of here yeah we know your uncle pat he's buzz lightyear um so i i think uh you know, everything went pretty smooth on, on everything Zach's Everything went part. smooth. His, the only person who kind of like balked a little bit was Zach's dad being like, you know, you're put into all these situations. You'll fall in love with a monkey was what he said. And but besides that, he kind of, you know, gets won over by the idea. I know. I the, did hear that. And I was like, what the hell? Like, what? Yeah. Is he calling kind her of, a monkey <laughs> or, or him a monkey? Rough. Yeah. But um, but they, you know, they, they all all that is well ends well they watch like a home video version of some of like aspects of their dates it looked like uh because you know to play off of how their first one-on-one was the home videos Mm -hmm. uh and they they he confirms that he's still falling in love with her and she's feeling it they're feeling great smoochy smoochy and uh you know they're on their they're on their merry way he's he's Still a top contender. Yeah, no, I mean, he's definitely up there. Um, he's like, you know, climbing up that ladder to get his heart broken, I feel like. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, what else we got here? Uh, we got Gabby and Jane. Apparently, okay. he was so hot, and we know I, it. That, I was laughing. So, like, they head to Palm Beach, Florida, which Johnny just gives me, like, he gives me more Orlando <laughs> trashy looking dude, to be honest. Sorry, no offense. But <laughs> Not taken. <laughs> I just lived there for a third of my life. I know, but like you've seen his type, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean. Yeah. I but, mean, I've uh, seen his type everywhere, but. Um, I mean, yes. But I mean, I didn't def- think he was like the hottie of this season. I don't season. think he's a hottie either. When like Gabby is all like running all funny up to him and then being all like, Johnny's hot. He knows it. I know it. You know it. And I'm like, do I know that? <laughs> I, I don't think i do <laughs> i don't think i know that i i literally from the beginning i always am like johnny is such a freaking wild card he's kind of weird looking mm. in my opinion mm. he's got like a like a mousy kind of face and yeah he's got a nice body i guess and he's got some tattoos but like the way he dresses his hair is kind of weird like i don't i don't know yeah. i'm not you know what started getting on my nerves, though? Like, I almost, I found this episode almost kind of unbearable to watch with Gabby, dude. Like, she just says. Because of her yaz? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I can't, I can't unhear it now. Like, you know, it's not something I noticed before, but like, wh- how does someone just say yeah for everything? Yeah. That's like, it's like her, um, you know, it's like her version of an um or, you know, just a vocal pause, I guess is what you could call that. I mean, you don't have to. You can listen to someone and nod. You don't have to say yeah I to know. Like, confirm that you're listening. I know. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, so they end up like now at this point, like the guys are just rushing to get. The their- guys are like all. I wonder what is. Like, to think about it from, like, the back end, I wonder what's going into how some of these have to structure their dates where they're all like, let's just go meet the fam now. Maybe maybe that's that's something they were offered. Like, yo, you could show her around if you want, but, like, there's a lot more, like, hometowns going on this year or for the season. Mm. And mm. why don't we just, like, get her, like, they're like, yeah, I just would rather just bring her to my parents opposed to, like, you know, to be honest, it's, I would rather do that. To- yeah, doing some like yeah. dumb like. It's like yeah, let me take you around Atlanta. Like no, forget that. Like you know, just come meet my family. Yeah, let's go to if I if I'm like if I had a hometown day, uh-huh. taking like let's go to Claremont Lounge. Eh? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know, man. I don't even know if that would win them or lose them. Well, I mean, if I had a hometown date, it wouldn't be here. But 
Uh, but anyways, so they just rushed to meet the fam first. Parents, siblings, I think one of the siblings, significant others or whoever, uh, they they all kind of Oh, his give mom up. is a hottie. Yeah, his mom's cute. They all give off like similar vibes. And another one of Gabby's guys tells their mom that he's not ready to get married yet. Like, uh, this one I didn't know. I was trying to read into it because like his dad is like, what is it, money? Like, it's like. You don't have enough yeah, money? It's like, yeah, no, I don't. Like, I know you don't. Like, Because he kept saying, like, at this point in my life, like, in his little interviews or whatever, he kept being all, like, at this point in my life, at this place in my life, like, I don't think I'm ready to I get mean, married. I mean, I get that. Like, I, at this point in my life, I'm not ready to get married. I mean, I, mm-hmm. I think I could afford it, but, like, it's like – because a lot of people do it, but it's like you have this idea of like wanting to be able to buy a house and, you know, right. not be in so much debt probably or whatever it is. Like you're just like don't have like it's it's Gabby. Like you're like I feel like maybe I have to like have money for her or something, you know. Maybe that's not the case, but you might feel mm. that way. She's the bachelorette. Um and so, yeah, I mean, I did like what his mom said, though, and it was kind of good advice where she was just like, was it his mom? Where she's like, um, wh- I mean, what are you waiting for then? Like, or something. Somebody's mom was like trying to tell them like. It might have been his dad or my- his mom, either or. His dad was more gung ho, like, you know, go in, do it if you're feeling it, mm-hmm. like kind of vibes. Like, how do you feel around her? I think his mom was or, like, how no, do you... His, his mom was like, how are you going to feel if you lose her? Right. Was it his mom? Yeah, yes. I believe so. And it's like, that's a good point. Like, you know, I mean, I don't know if you're technically going to lose her if you don't want to, you know, marry her. But um, yeah, I mean, it is kind of concerning now. Like now we got two guys that are just like, yeah, I'm not ready. Um, well, and Gabby even said in her interview, like after she's like r- riding around on the boat with him and like whatever, she's all like, it feels good. Like, you know, I could definitely see like me falling in love with Johnny more and more, especially as the more time I spend with him, like and especially because he's ready. And I'm like, sis, where you're picking up that he's ready and he's not putting that down. That's for damn sure. So yeah. and you know what? I think it would be fair. Just this is like a side note. I think it'd be fair if next season they had two bachelors. You know, yeah. I would just love to see the flip version of girls being able to pick between two different bachelors and making these yeah. guys feel like shit for a second. Like me too. Yeah. Me um, too. But I don't know if we'll get that. I don't know if we'll mm. get that. No, um, God forbid. But yeah, anyway, so they end up, it was pretty good. Another, all right, they, Gabby doesn't know anything. No one's saying that she, they love her yet though, right? No, none of, neither of those two said that they were falling in love with her or like that they love her. Um, so she's zero for two on the love, on the love quotient, but, um, she doesn't seem too concerned about it at this point. So that's at least good. Um, we move along to Rachel heading to Wildwood, New Jersey, going to the pier to see little puppy dog, Tyler, which I already had a feeling going into this date that this was gonna not be good Ty- also, Tyler for for bachelor that's what I want Tyler's a sweet I could already Tyler from these past several weeks I could tell was all in on Rach and she was like half in on him mm-hmm. and then they put her in this ugly ass trench coat what the fuck was she wearing she looked like she was a flasher and um <laughs> or like and, or like scruff McGruff the crime yes <laughs> yes like only you can help stop crime like yeah, whatever you're Dick Tracy yeah um, yes Dick Tracy <laughs> oh my god yeah, except so, there's no dick that's gonna be tracing up oh, in her from Tyler what'd she say what'd she say <laughs> oh man I'm so sorry. I th- I think Tyler's <laughs> such a sweet dude too. Um. Anyways, they go all up and around like the pier. She's learning about all of his like carny connections. Pretty much, mm-hmm. they go to the diner on the pier that his friend's dad and like family and other friends work at. And you could tell like Rachel's getting overwhelmed because like she's meeting all these people that she's obviously heard about from Tyler and. Like, she meets his best friend, Sal. Of course he would have a best friend named Sal in New Jersey. Yeah. And, um, like, they're having a great time, like, riding all the rides, playing the games. Like, it's definitely, like, a f- happy-go-lucky, fun, cute date. Like, they're making out on a Ferris wheel, all this stuff. And 
when he closes down the thing, the game that they had been playing, she like runs off to sob to the producer in a bathroom because she's all like, this has been a great date. Like he's a great guy, but I just can't, I can't get I hate how she uses this card so much about like running off and talking to a producer and hiding. Like she does it so much this season. Yeah, she's she's done it a lot. Like it, it was just kind of a weird. It was weird, like seeing it be filmed, like her just like kind of like keep walking, and like I'm like, what are they telling Tyler? Like this is like what I need to know. He's like, I gotta be- close down, and then they go be- sit down on a bench, and he just starts. Oh my gosh, it's like oh, uh, he just uh, is like gushing over her. And my thing is like, what they what do they tell him? when she like ran off because this man is obviously also like not reading any of her facial cues, not reading anything. He's just like gushing over her, telling her how amazing she is, like pretty much like confessing his love and whatever for her and how, you know, he thinks they're end game. And she's like a deer in headlights. Well, this is her fault. This is her fault, man. Like she should have, why does she need four guys? Gabby didn't need four guys. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you should have sent him home last week. This yeah. is bullshit. Like, this is worse than meeting the family. It's like getting the family all excited to meet you, and then you're just oh, like, "That was yeah." You know, yeah. Especially because they they both emphasize a lot. Like, family's super important to Rachel, and she knows it's super important to Tyler. And you know, so that's why she at least cuts him cuts him loose before she even meets the family because she didn't want but i think it was still so brutal to watch him like to see like the family getting so excited being like oh can't he took wait it to like see- a champ he took it like a champ he was honestly he was great and she even like says that how she's all like he was comforting me like i don't de- like i didn't even deserve that like he didn't deserve to be treated like whatever like she's like no oh. she's like concerned about how she knows she's gonna look stupid like kind of like an asshole like you know it, it is like she shouldn't even gone this far with him like if she you know yeah um yeah i wish she would have stopped him before you know maybe maybe like after the ferris wheel like they could have like cut it cut it loose then and but. i gotta say like in recent history that i can remember like She's the worst at like um, poker facing with these guys, like you know. Well, that's kind of what like for me, I'm all like, homie, how is he not picking up? As he's like, he's just so enamored that he isn't like seeing. Because it's house towns. You're supposed to just like there's it's unlike, it, you know, it's not like it's, this is supposed to happen. Like you know, it's like you're yeah, here. You're supposed to give me a chance, right? Especially at this point, you know. Um, but she wasn't willing to do it. And, you know, he dodged a bullet. So uh, sad. It's sad. It's sad all around. I think Tyler's a great guy. I hope to see him on the beach. Uh, you know, I can only hope for the best for him. He's a cutie. Right. So. Um, so um, we get some back to back, Rachel. So Rachel, after she goes through and like kind of is brutal to to Tyler in that situation, I guess Karma Karma has his kiss for her because she heads to Santa Clarita, California, gets picked up in a Jeep by Tino and pretty much gets driven right to meet his family. They like spend a little bit of time together, but nothing of note. Uh, and then heads to meet his parents and his brother Mateo in his parents are ready to throw down. They are not messing around. His de- like Tino is definitely because Tino's all in on Rachel. Like Tino's like I yeah, can't tell I mean, if he like, just wants to win or he actually likes her. I I'm yeah I'm I'm on the fence with where he is because he's kind of he even is all like I mean all these other guys are gonna go in the dust like blah 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 because like he's all he's like yeah I mean like this or that and like his parents are all like I mean how much time do you even get to spend together. I mean, you really think you're going to propose in a, a couple of weeks? Like, and his dad's all like, oh, we're going to have a talk man to man. Mano a mano. <laughs> Daddy a tino, you know, <laughs> like, like we got to we got to lay this down because uh, his his parents are not on board. They're like, there's just no way that this is that this is real like she's pulling the wool over your eyes like and they pretty much they go in on rachel being all like is is this real like are you being real like come on i mean like, she didn't seem to- like even as like a, like a viewer she didn't seem like she was being real 
Like I don't know. They're like, tell me what you like about Tino, and she's like, okay, she did. She was, you know, when she's all like, he gives blood. I was like, bitch, come on, like let's, like I'm like, I give blood. If that was the first thing someone's all like, they're so caring and giving. She gives blood. I'd be like, like, it's just like his outlook on life, and I'm just like, I think she was definitely she was overwhelmed for sure, and I think she just like froze. I think she didn't know how to, you know, give. She was never going to be able to give eloquent enough answers for her, the, these parents. So she was she was always going to lose. Like she, none of her answers were going to be good enough. And so there was no there was no winning. And uh, she they definitely are not feeling it. They're not feeling the vibes. She's like getting but Tino really thought upset. that his parents were enamored by her. I know, which uh, he's blind. <laughs> he's blind. He's as blind as Tyler was when Tyler was giving all his feelings to Rachel and she was like about to, you know, tear up then. Homegirl, like, yeah, she has no poker face. I mean, that's why what makes me think that he just wants to win, because it's like if that happened in my same situation, if my parents were like, like, you know, giving her like a hard time and stuff, I would go out like the second you walk out the door and be like. Whew, I am sorry about that. Like, I wasn't expecting them to be so hard. Like, you know, like, right. at least, like, well, you know, like, Which, because Tino even said that earlier in his little interview. He's like, I wasn't expecting my dad to be so stringent with questions, which I don't really know if that's the right use of that word. <laughs> but um, uh, he, like, sort of makes that aside. But, yeah, you would think he would, like, immediately as they leave, especially as Rachel's all, like, holy shit, like, that she's been, like, pretty much like tossed to the curb by the, his parents he's all like anyways that went okay right and she's like no like what do you mean like that did not go okay he's like well anyways i've been keeping this in my back pocket for a situation like this but i love you yeah <laughs> and she's just like and like the clouds just like dissipate and oh. stuff yeah <laughs> and she's all like i love you too and forgets about everything so because um, love can it conquer all I don't know. I mean, it can yeah, it on, this, on this episode. Um, so, yeah. Uh, then we go uh, to Gabby and Eric, which is kind of like. This is the heaviest part of the episode. I mean, the heaviest part is the end. when. Oh, woof. I know. So they go to Bedminster, New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Um, they similarly, uh, they go and meet the fam first because it. Eric's dad, like he gives the lowdown. Eric's dad has terminal, like this kind of like crazy form of super aggressive cancer that has come back multiple times. And, uh, you know, his mom is there as well. She takes care of him. And then they, she also gets to meet his grandparents. And I think, uh, is it his sister, Elise or cousin, Elise sister? Um, and they, you know, he, looks up to his parents a lot, especially for as like a good example of loyalty and like, you know, if you're there, you're there no matter how hard it gets when it comes to love. Uh, because, you know, obviously his mom is going through the unimaginable having to care for someone that, you know, she's married to in such a, such a way. Um, and I think the, you know, they really connect on the fact that, uh, Gabby is an ICU nurse, so like she gets to like get emotional and connect with his dad about kind of like the role of ICU nurses and the role of being a caretaker and things like that. It it definitely was everybody was very very emotional, um, and it was it was definitely it was definitely tough. It was tough to see. It yeah, was tough I mean, to Gabby see. even says like you know this day, this day might have changed my life forever. Right. You know, right. I I kind of. Like now, just like thinking about it, like it's just like, isn't that what you look for in in like a significant other, someone that's gonna like, you know, you can easily say like in sickness and in health, like, right. but like when it comes down to it, um, someone that it won't leave you when you're just like at, at your worst, like you know, right? Um, even when it's like so, even when it's so hard on them, like I've, you know, it's like it's draining to have to, you know, have to go through some of that kinds of stuff with a partner with a loved one or whatever i've just been going through like this tooth pain for like the last month and and like god bless my girlfriend like you know i've just been a miserable fuck like you know just like the only thing that brings me joy is watching boy meets world and you know (laughs) (laughs) 
I I honestly, you know, and we're just wanting this to be over with because I can't enjoy things. Like I can barely even enjoy that because it's just like this thing is just like constantly like on my mind. So it's like I'm just miserable. And um and you know, this is not even like as bad as that. Like you kind of just want somebody that's just understanding of of everything. Um so yeah, I mean, you know, it was just a loving loving way um you know the show ends with you know apparently he ends up i mean he does pass away and the show's dedicated to him and stuff so um yeah you know that's so sad eric eric has really proved himself eric with an h i always i had sus feelings about him but right now after this episode he really like showed more depth and his family showed like good vibes too and depth and he tells her that he's falling in love with her and she also says She's falling in love with him. Like they get real emotional and then they get real handsy at this bar that they go to afterwards. But uh, yeah, they're definitely he's looking, especially with her other two dudes seemingly not being ready for marriage. He's looking like the front runner. Yeah. And also, you know, um, you know, he met the grandfather, too. So it's like a lot of family has already been involved, like, you know, between yeah, them. Yeah, that's true. So, um. So yeah, uh, then we get a look at. That's pretty much it. So we don't get to see mm. two so, two dates each. We get to see. We saw or all of date. Gabby's dates, okay. and then we are just missing Avon, who is going to be next week for Rachel for that final hometown, and then Mentel All will also be uh, next week. I wonder why they saved just Avon. I think it was just probably it was easier to do three and three instead of three and four i don't know but i wonder yeah even because from the preview it didn't look like anything like super crazy with avon's hometown date that i can remember so i don't I mean, know they knock over a table like while they're doing that magic and they're like is this a bad sign yeah um but the the look at next week well, i mean the men tell all but the look at like the weeks following kind of looked not good not good. So it looks like they're heading to Mexico for their fantasy suites. Um, and it looks like potentially Gabby might not have a proposal at the end. We see Jesse saying that Gabby's not going to be there, that Rachel's the only bachelorette. Maybe she got COVID. Just like Logan. <laughs> um. So, yeah, I mean, we. <laughs> I feel like we need like the X-Files like noise or something. But... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so it's in the men tell all, do you think we're going to get our bachelor? Um, we might, they, they made it seem like there was like going to be something that was like, you know, they always say like something historical game changing or whatever's going to happen. No, Jesse so straight up says, this is going to change your lives. Like he's talking to us. <laughs> I know. I was like, I was like, I, let's slow our roll. Yeah, Jesse. let's pump the brakes a little bit, Jesse. <laughs> I know you're still getting used to this stuff, but... <laughs> There's a way of making but, things dramatic and like sure, just lying to our faces. We do podcast on this, but like I don't think it's gonna change my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, this is gonna change your life. I might have to change the outline. Okay, it's gonna <laughs> change my outline. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. So yeah, that that'll be interesting. Um. Do we have anything else in Bachelor Nation news? Yes. So, uh, Susie and Clayton are gonna you know distance i guess might make the heart grow fonder mm. so which i i don't know i don't know how i feel about this one we'll see how we'll see how it works out for them uh bold move cotton uh but they so Susie's gonna spend some time in la moving to la uh typical and then he's moving back to scottsdale arizona which is where he was before he moved to virginia beach mm -hmm. to be with Susie. so i mean they won't be like super super far from each other because like arizona la they're at least like a, a why shorter is, why are they doing this uh i think she like he, he has was, to go like moving with his brother or something like that right? yeah because he had been living with his brother um he's, like, helping him out by moving in with him or something Something like that. I don't know. And she uh, doesn't want to live with them, probably. Like, no, I'm not yeah. going to do it. But, yeah, I mean, I don't see this being a good sign. Um, it seems like uh, the soft, I guess she's, like, going there to, like, the follow her job or do some stuff with her job. Cause she's a wedding photographer, does stuff like that. Maybe she's trying to get more into different photography with, like, the L.A. scene. I don't know, dude. It seems, like, weird. We'll have to see what happens. Um, I see a breakup in the future, but... Me too. 
Oh, what um, else we got for Bachelor Nation news? Uh, so Sarah Highland and Wells Adams are officially married. They got married over the weekend in California. Whole bunch, like pretty much all of the Modern Family co-stars were there. And uh, what's his fetch? The the redheaded guy. What's his name? What's his so name? So it was like an ABC crossover event. It was an ABC crossover <laughs> wedding. Uh, the the redheaded guy from Modern Family was their uh, officiant. So. Oh, wow. Uh, that was great. Definitely um, looked like it was a beautiful time. She had a couple of Vera Wang dresses. She looked hot. Uh, Wells cried the whole time, I guess, uh, uh, supposedly from all of his posts, which I just I love them as a couple. So uh, some people are saying that if I, I didn't really look for spoilers, but some of the people who were invited might, uh, you know, might be new couples from this season of Bachelor in Paradise. So we'll. We might we might find more about that to see you know. Yeah, I, I saw that too. I didn't look too far into it. Me it's been really hard too because people are saying like the rumored bachelor and all this stuff. I'm just like, nah. Yeah, um, I like to be surprised with the rest of us, you know. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it we got for Bachelor Nation news. Yep. All right. Well, guys, what do you think? We're what would you would you. I, I always love to pretend to make up <laughs> questions, especially now that I'm would you, in pain. Would you? Would, would you? Would you? Would your parents be okay with this? Yeah. Would, would you your would parent? You? Would you want your tell your parents that you're gonna meet your girlfriend and then she breaks up with you before meeting your parents? Leave us in the <laughs> comments and would yes, no. I know that's a weird frame question, but just tell us your <laughs> thoughts in the bottom because <laughs> if you leave a comment, we're shouting you out next week. Um, on the show, um, would you marry would somebody you, from a uh, sitcom? Or I, some, if she was Sarah Island, yeah, yeah. I mean, would I'm not asking you, Veronica. I'm asking our viewers on YouTube. <laughs> so, um, would you, you know, marry somebody from Bachelor Nation? <laughs> Could you stop asking? If you me? were on the show. Let us okay. know in the comments below. Um, like I said, we'll shout you out <laughs> next week. It's what, what do we got next week? We got mental all mental all and Avon's hometown date. Okay. It'll be fun. Um, hopefully I'll be feeling a little better next week. Cause I don't feel good right now. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, would you pay out of pocket for a root canal or wait till next year when your benefits kick back in? Let us know in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up. Or, you know <laughs> alright guys um, future bachelor podcast podcast